I originally wrote uh, the pilot for an Irish cop who comes from Dublin and goes to America. It was bought by a network in, uh, in uh, Los Angeles, and we went right to the place where we almost made it, and then we decided not to do it together. I had written the pilot already. Uh, Henrik read it, and some other people, quite frankly, I got some offers to go to a couple of different countries because people seem to like the show. And Henrik was a friend, and he said, why don't you come to, uh, to Stockholm and just see if you think you could reverse it, make it a New York cop who comes to Sweden. And he flew me out to Stockholm, and I looked around, and truly, the minute I saw Stockholm, I knew it was the perfect place. It was much better than what I had originally written for New York City, for a lot of different reasons. Um, and Henrik quickly made a deal with... Uh, with a couple of different companies, as you know, and it was we, we it went together fairly quickly. You know, they commissioned uh, twelve scripts, got them written, started shooting. April, May. Yeah, something like that. Around that. And we had about uh, eight or nine shows written. We finished writing the next three while we were shooting. I directed the first three. I've been making a nature show for the best part of eighteen months or so, and I said to my agent that I needed to play a character that kind of hit people a little hard and, and made people notice um, since now people think that I'm not an actor anymore you know so we were looking for something edgy and dark and hard hitting and, and this kind of ticked all those boxes you know I mean he's uh, he's a character that doesn't really care about what people think he's only interested in solving the case uh, he has a lot of angst and a lot of demons and uh, it's a European project. Obviously I feel quite European having been born in Germany and lived in different parts of Europe all my life. And uh, the script was great. I mean the script was strong and mysterious and um, it gave me the opportunity to do a lot of stuff so it wasn't really a difficult decision. It has this richness into it and also that you're in a landscape of of uh, it's mysterious about this deep web. It's, it's like um, it's like, for me, a little bit like a career thing. Uh, then they had all this, like, there was CIA or MI5 or something. And it's, it's, uh, now we have this kind of society with all these social networks and everything that you don't really know what's going on, you know? And sometimes when you talk to people out just on the street, they, I, I, I'm on that uh, site or that, what, what is that? And this has, uh, Bobby had caught that, I think. Um, and if while shooting, it was stories came out very similar to what we worked with. So it has something about the day we live in now. So that was, I was really interested. Also, I was interested in this clash of these two persons, uh, Connolly and Eklund. Uh, two men, why, uh, why, what are they holding? What do they show for the, the other guy? And it, it says a lot about um, men, how we work today, how we are today that it was fun to work with, to, to just ex explore. I think we're kind of similar in the sense that I, I enjoy playing. I think as actors, you know, you're in a you're in a extended state of play throughout most of your life. And uh, for me, at least, my personal preference is to create an environment on set where you can play because then it gives you the opportunity to experiment and try out new things and have fun. I don't like tension on set. I don't like being told that I can or can't do stuff. I don't like constraints. I don't really like that in my life. I mean, I've always kind of balked against people telling me what I can and can't do. And I think at work, it's nice to be allowed to express yourself in that way. And, and Miko seems to be the same. He, he likes to every so often get the opportunity to say, okay, we got that take on take three, now it's take five, so just have fun and see what you can find. And you can sometimes find some great things in there, so I think we're quite similar. They were very close friends, I have to say, and become that during shooting this. Uh, but my, uh, the whole thing is about that we're not friends. And I think to play that very well, I think you, you, you have to be friends. So you, so you allow yourself to go 
kind of harsh, and so we do. You know, er early on in the shooting, Michael and Don would, would would play friends. You know, early on before we really found our group. And I tell you guys, they don't like each other. But <laughs> yeah, we have to remind them. <laughs> they don't yeah. like each other. And then because Michael and Don were such great guys, both of them, they would and and uh, you know, of course, after a couple of uh, takes it here and there, it all got to oh oh yeah, we're this, we're not this, and then it became really fun, don't you think? Yeah, really. And um, also, it's very it's very f physical part, but. You don't answer it always. It's sometimes you just look in the way of not answering. And for an actor, that is candy. Fun, fun to work with. It's created by Bobby Moresco, and, and Bobby's been very successful throughout his career writing scripts and winning Academy Awards for certain things. So I think um, the combination of Bobby, Mike, and me. Uh, has led to a, a, a really dark, very well thought out piece of drama. There's, I mean, there's a lot of these TV shows out there now, you know, these mysterious, dark European, Scandinavian dramas, and I think this is one that deserves a second look because all the elements are there, and every time I get a new script, I'm constantly turning pages to find out what happens next, and I'm hoping that the, the viewing audience will feel the same way. The first thing I would say to you is that characters bring an audience back to a show. And this, you know, if you just look at this show as a serial killer show, then you're mistaken. It's not. I, I, I couldn't get up in the morning and just write about serial killers. We talk about humans, people, people who we care about. And each and every character in this show, I, I hope, is... And, and I know by watching it, the characters bring together well-drawn-out people with real conditions, real problems, real unique ways of trying to solve those problems. And then, you know, what mashes it up is this idea of a serial killer from the deep web in the middle of all of that. Wait. And it also has a lot of lust in it. It's, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's awful to say if you're innocent. It's a bit sexy. <laughs> true. It's true. true. Yeah. You know, sexy in a not good way almost. But. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's always about the characters. But, you know, then you find a form in which to pour those characters. And this form is really big and violent and sexy in, in a way that's true to its humanity, though, I think. That's what we're aiming for.